Hello and thanks again for joining me for another episode of Kenshi Skeletons Only Freedom Seekers Run. So, uh, in the last episode, we uh, had uh, Old Rust and Springs travel across from World's End into the Floodlands, where we came to Burn's Tower and we recruited Burn, who was a unique skeleton recruited him into our squad uh, meanwhile back at home we had a ton of loot to sell so we got uh, sad Neil to uh, bury that back and forth to the local pub got to keep those cats coming in and uh, that brings us back to where we are right now in this tower this uh, over here this leaning tower which we looted looted all the containers in here but uh, we came across a safe and none of these guys have lock picking skill to uh, to pick that and I could have sworn that there were some tools in this tower and during the last episode I uh, I did go through most of the containers in this whole uh, tower because I could have sworn I seen tools and I was right because uh, they were right next to the safe so uh, we'll grab those and we will open up this safe with the tools this may take just a little while might be a bit quicker if I speed it up So we'll see what's in this safe. We did find a few ancient science books in this tower already. Yeah, okay, Burn, we know you're not skilled enough, that's fine. And you too, Springs. Alright, so... Yeah, I don't know if this actually contributes towards lockpicking. I don't think it does. I uh, usually have pretty good lock picking on uh, most of my characters, but uh, not in this playthrough. I haven't really done a lot of lock picking at all. But uh, we're cutting through it. And we have another slave raid back at home. All right. Okay, always something happening here, it's pretty much constant, uh, let's grab all of these guys, take them off of sneak, uh, take them off their jobs, gonna put them on passive, hold, block, and we're gonna chase this just like we did last time put each one of these guys in a bed all right and uh if we still have yeah we we have the nomads here at the moment they are helping in the fight We'll, uh, we'll let them do whatever they do. Does look like the... Uh, looks like the, the flavors won with that one. No, we'll... Uh, okay. And that's the Traders Guild. Alright, that's fine. These guys are going to come upstairs. Uh, let's lure a couple upstairs. No, 
Okay, get a little bit of toughness training out of this. Just keep an eye on them, make sure none of them actually get out of their bed. So, if we have a look at cogs, 35 toughness, Let's see that meter going up. Let's make sure they don't get out of their beds. They will eventually get, uh, they will eventually get bored, go away. Sad Neil. He was, Sad Neil, uh, was our lowest, our lowest skilled member. Yep, they have given up. And who are these guys? Slaves. All right, they're the nomads. All right. Let these guys heal up. All right, so, yep, bit of a, bit of a bloodbath down here. Don't see any of the grey flayers lying around. That was a pretty full on, pretty full on raid. Uh, let's just uh, hold down alt and see how many sandals and stuff they left. What's all these stuff? Okay. The uh, the slave traders, those staffs are too big for the slave traders to uh, pick up. They don't have bags big enough for those, so they've they're not only littering our floor with uh, with sandals, but also with uh, staffs. All right. Almost healed. Okay, let's uh, put you guys on sneak. Just can go back to work. Uh, who is this? One slave trader on his own. Let's uh, see if we can take care of him. All right, well, we got one. And we got his gear. Uh, these outlaw farmers, well, they've been a pain in our butt, so... I don't care about them. Uh, were there any other survivors? does appear that uh, everybody got taken. So the uh, the grey flyers, the uh, the smugglers that usually hang around, looks like they're all gone too. They are notorious for uh, escaping and coming back though. All right, well, let's uh, pop this stuff in here. And there, there is always some sort of action going on here. Can barely do anything without uh, something going on, but uh, you know it is good combat experience for our guys. when it's not too big to get involved in. All right, but let's get back to these guys. Yeah, did you get through that? You did? All right. 
Okay. Alrighty. Got ourselves a nice spring bat there. Yeah, we'll take that because it's worth a fair bit of cash. More ancient research. And someone else. Oh, yeah. Burn picked up three. Uh, well, that's worth a bit. We'll take that. I don't know why I'm carrying that. That's not really worth much. Uh, these are worth a little bit. Mm. Suppose I can take those. It's not gonna not gonna weigh old rust down. Okay, so that is that tower done. Uh, let's have a look. All right, now there is one or two ruins here that we don't really want to go in just yet, but uh, we'll have a look. There is an iron spider here. We'll see if we can uh, take him out. Whoops. Let's make sure everybody's getting in on it. Burn is taking a bit of a beating. Alright, Burn, you do have a kit on you. How about you repair yourself? Uh, okay, this is not great. Uh, let me see. All right, old Ross should be able to come up out of this. All right. Okay. Burns is alive. Let's get springs. Burn, how about you heal yourself, buddy? Repair yourself, will ya? Okay. Uh, oh. Burn has lost a leg. That could be problematic. All right, we are going to pick up Burn. So, yeah. So with skeletons, when they lose a, lose a limb, they will continue to bleed out oil and they will die. Uh, let's... Go back to Burns Tower. And we'll pop Burn in the bed there. And we'll have to go shopping for a leg. Let me see, where's the tower? Over here. Alright, hop inside. All of this. Okay, pop burn in the bed. And I think he's still going to leak oil. Alright, old rust runs pretty fast. 
Uh, let's see. We've got World's End over there. I think that's probably our closest. I don't know if there's any legs in that village. I'm not going to worry about trying or see if we can make it. Uh, burn. Get in the bed, please. All right. Yeah, so at least he's uh, he's not going to bleed out while he's in the bed. As long as he stays in it. Send old Rust on his own because he's, uh, he's got that 22 miles an hour. And hopefully we can pick up a leg in World's End. Uh, oh. Is it repairing? I don't think it is repairing. Right, okay. So, okay, so usually what happens, if you lose a leg as a skeleton, it will bleed out until you replace it. And when you replace it, you can then take it off again and it will go down to five. And that's what it appears has happened is that it has acted as if, well, we've patched it up with the bed. Repair kit won't do the job. Got to be in a bed. Um, but it has stopped him from, uh, has stopped him from bleeding out. Let's just see what happens when we uh, get him out of the bed. Where he starts bleeding out again. All right, so he is, he is fine. He's not going to die. He's crippled. Guess he can stay in there. Well, uh, springs, springs, you can have a quick nap. Uh, let's get back to old Rust, though. So that didn't take long. All right, so we are, yeah, and it hasn't rendered in properly, come into it too fast. All right, so we're back in World's End. We want, hmm, let's just, uh, all right. head over here let's come back to old rust and see if this renders in okay uh we'll have a look in here don't know if they've got legs in here i know they've got some legs somewhere here okay so we need the left leg See what we've got. Mm. Not a lot to choose from. Yeah, there was another repair shop. It is open. Okay. Uh, no, not burn. Burn, you uh, stay here. Old Rust. Hop in here. I don't know if these guys have legs or not. No, no legs. All right. I uh, guess we will have to make do. Well, we can sell some stuff anyway. 
Uh, let's sell that. Sell that. Uh, I think I'll sell that. All right. I guess a high grade is the best we can do for the moment. All right. Sell those. Uh, will I keep that or not? Uh, maybe I'll keep it. All right. So we want a left leg. Let me just double check. Left. Yep. All right, so uh, three percent athletics. One twenty five hit points. Looks like about the best we're going to do. That's exactly the same. All right, guess that'll do. So back over to Burns Tower. All right, so yeah, I wasn't aware that uh, the repair bed would uh, would actually work. I thought it might just sort of keep him in limbo until we took him off. But uh, but no, it does actually stop the oil leaking. Does not repair the missing leg though. does stop him from dying, which is a good thing. So we just won't be expecting, uh, won't be expecting him to to be uh, very good at stealth with this leg. At least he will get a he will get a slight uh, athletics bonus for it though. All right, so uh, let's come up and trade with Burn. limbs close that inventory limbs pop that in all right you now have a new leg run speed 18 Okay. All right. Well, that that has actually made him a little bit faster. Yeah, Springs is uh, fully charged up. We'll give old Rust a really quick little snooze there. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. So that one was empty. Leave. Did we check out this one? All right, so we'll continue our little uh, search here. Watch out for that uh, spider. Okay, so burn, please. Alright, 
So, I mean, if you're aware of them, the iron spiders are pretty slow. Now, I don't know. Let me check. That's this one. Or is that that one? Alright, that was the leaning tower, which is that one there. This is this ruin. Um, or at least I believe it is. Let's uh, come up a bit closer. Not sure if it's guarded. Don't know if there's anything in there. Uh, it hasn't come up red. Just gonna send old rust in. Uh, okay. These security spiders, they are bad news. I'm not gonna muck around with them. No. You guys, get out of here. Yeah, is that security spider gonna chase us? But there was a couple of them. Um, Alright, so they are much tougher. They're much tougher than the... Uh, than the standard iron spiders. Not really ready to mess with them just yet. We've only just picked up Bernie. Did come with, did come come with a couple of skills, but uh, not that much. All right. Um. Okay, this one here. So head, see if we can head to that one. Okay, it's this tower here. Pretty sure we can't get inside that. Uh, what is going on there? Are we attacking it? door there that we can't access. Or is it this? Alright, well, I'm pretty sure we can't get into that. Um, okay, yeah, the, the lab. I mean, there, there's going to be some, some good loot in there. Uh, yeah, I don't want to mess with those security spiders. Let's see if we can get to this next room. Now, is this a normal... Okay, that's a normal iron spider. That one is just decor. Should be able to run past these guys. Alright, that's another sort of 
MT1. Let's hold down Alt. Can't see anything on the ground there. Okay. So I don't know if there's much else in here. Okay, that's this one. There's another one down here. Alright, so we'll head on down to that one. Uh, let's make sure everyone's running at the same speed. Okay, that's this one. Nothing in that either. Okay. Right. I mean, we could go to Mungle. Um... Let's see, so world sends up there. Uh, I don't think I'm going to go to Mongol just yet. Though. Maybe. Uh, let's head across here. I don't know if I've missed any towers that might be around here but we'll need to watch out for holy nations I reckon Let's go for a swim. And I'm pretty sure Burns' leg. Ah, uh, let me see. Does that leg have a swimming penalty? It does. Uh, he does actually have some swimming skill already. Alright. We are going to go for a swim. And check out the... There's an ancient armourer. About halfway down this river. I don't know if I'm going to buy any armor, but we'll see what he has. Okay, so. I think it's this ruin. Yep, over there. All right. Let's, uh, Come over here. And it is a bit lopsided. So. It's going to get everyone lined up, I guess, for a bit of a photo.
Yeah, maybe like that. All right. So let's go in here and have a look. Now, there is some decent stuff you can steal in here, but I'm not going to be stealing from these guys. All right. So uh, let's see. He does have some good armor. Can't afford a lot of it. It is quite heavy. Um, uh, these would be pretty good if you're just trying to lose some arms. Alright, I don't think I'm going to worry about buying anything. Desert Sailor. Right, no blueprints. Okay. Not much there. Uh, I think the other skeletons around here are just guards. Don't think there's... Well, there's some beds upstairs. I mean, there is stuff you can steal. But his guards are pretty full on. But, uh... We might come back here another time. So let's just gather everybody up. Back in the water. Yeah. Well, what we might do, actually... Let's check in on oils. He's still standing out here. Let's just have a look around. See if there's been any animal fights around here. That he that he's missed. Um, if wonder yeah, we have to get a fair way away from town to pop in a well anywhere um What do we need for that? Five building materials. Um, no animals under here. All right, that's okay. He can uh, he can stay here. Yeah, I did pick up some maps, so might as well uh, get them done. See what they added. A couple of places over here. Squin. Yep. All right. So not much happening here, but. Uh, he has got his armor smithing up to 55. So if you haven't been watching the series, he is here by himself. He has a little shack here. Basically has a campfire, a tanning bench, and some leather barrels, a meat barrel, animal skin, food. We sold all his food. Um, 
haven't used these, but just in case there was anything to loot. And he did buy some some uh, engineering research. So he's been basically here on his own, just on autopilot. We set him foraging animals and cooking the food, so we put it away, which we're just selling it. It's not worth much. But it adds up, we had a whole ton of it. And uh, and then he's just been set to uh, operate the tanning machine. And so far, he's done all of this leather. And gotten his armor smith skill up to 55. Um, and that's been... Within the last two episodes of just leaving him here on autopilot. So you quite often get animals around here. There's uh, wolves. There's, um, oh, what do they call them? Oh, I keep forgetting their name, these bat creatures, land bats, I think. That, uh, and they'll sometimes come right up here. And so if they're in range of where he is in here, he will come out and forage them. Uh, seeing he's got nothing to do, I'm going to leave him out here on the porch. If there is anything, I mean, there's, there's guys, there's guards up here that generally take care of everything. Got guys up on the turrets up here. So, he's relatively safe. So we'll leave him there. Uh, let's check back in on home. And... Okay, so... It does look like we've, uh, we've lost our smuggler friends. Don't know if they will be back or not. They do sort of have a tendency to escape, at least from the normal slavers. Uh, let's check our tech. Yeah, we could go hellbent for tech level 6 with our two AI calls. Um, yeah. Advanced battery capacity. Don't know if I want to spend an ancient science book on that just yet. Um, I mean, maybe we could get cooking so that, uh, at least... I, mean, I don't know if uh, I don't know if Oils has actually been getting any cooking skill from all the meat that he's done. I didn't actually check. Uh, if so, it's not much, and I don't know if that makes a difference. If it's campfire, I mean, at the end of the day, we skeletons only, and the only um, the only reason I'm cooking the meat is. Because we loot it anyway, and uh, you know it's something we can put in our shop counter just for a few extra cats. But uh, other than that, we don't use it ourselves. So I don't know. Uh, maybe I will. It's just a standard book. Uh, I did pick up a couple of bits of cotton. Maybe we'll do some bit cotton farming because we possibly are going to want uh, maybe hydroponics might be an idea that way we'll be able to do farming inside a town as long as we can get water uh, but it does cost an AI core so I'll hold off on that. 
Yeah, well. Yeah. Maybe the brain collector. Not going to be able to put a well inside a, a town. But we could put a rain collector in there. Um, smithing. Yeah, I've never actually gone advanced smithing without doing basic first. And we haven't started anybody in this run on doing any smithing at all. Maybe I will get basic smithing up and running. And we're down to one ordinary book. So we've got the ancient science book there. We have another six here. Um... I mean, if we want to do our own limbs, but then that opens up a lot more. And I mean, that's going to cost two of our AI cores. Maybe. Is that worth doing right now? I'm going to hold off for now. But, uh... That'll be a little bit of research over here. Uh, let's get back to these guys. All right, so these guys I think I'm just going to bring home. Still got a fair way to go. We've got to get these guys past the Holy Nation. Maybe... Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's like a holy farm or mine or something down here. Do we swim down, risk it, run across this way? I mean, I tried to, uh, I tried to go around this way and kind of bypass some of the holy nation, but I think actually this is all, just all holy nation. not going to tell me till I go there. Um, I think that's United Cities, isn't it? Uh, but anyway, we tried to bypass Holy Nation by coming up this way to World's End and ended up running straight through the middle of town through Ockran's Fist. And, uh, well, Springs and Old Rust are fast enough. Burn. He's not quite, I don't think he's quite fast enough. So I think we may come down this way. Down around this way. But that is going to do it for this episode. So if you did enjoy this video, please leave me a like or a comment down below. If you'd like to see more, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.